table, and they were saying that you're having your meeting, um, uh, a meeting on Friday. Is that what you? You're trying it's to actually the first and third Thursday of every month. Uh, we have a meeting at Compass. You know, we meet at eight o'clock. Yeah. P.M. Yep, 8 p.m. And uh, it's basically a support group for transgender people. Uh, that would include cross-dressers, transsexuals, genderqueer, mm -hmm. uh, whatnot, and also their families or their friends and you know anybody that needs support. It's a confidential support group, and what's in the group stays in the group. Right. Okay. All and, right. Excellent. I also on the side do uh, some speaking at colleges. Uh, so people can understand that transsexual people are just the same as any other people, mm -hmm. uh, and that you know we all have families, lives, aspirations, and dreams, and uh, not so much different from anyone else. Right, right. And I've right. been doing that for about six years. Mm -hmm. When did you trans transgender? When did you do the transition? I, I transitioned about um, seven years ago on the job um, at a communications company, and I'm still working there. And uh, took a two-week vacation. They had meetings with all the staff and uh, let the east coast of Florida know what was going on. Uh, came back to work, and there was much to do about nothing. Um, in fact, uh, was the biggest problem I had the first day was uh, I didn't get a cup of coffee. My contractor showed up on time, and I was kind of perturbed about that. I didn't get my coffee that morning. I think it was about noon before I realized, hey, I just went to work as Heather. The biggest thing is, is um, you know, we've had our whole life to know who we are. You know, you know a very, most, most transsexuals or <laughs> transgender people know very early that they're different. They don't know exactly what the terms are or the technical jargon for it, but they do know that they're different, and they have a lifetime to deal with that. Um, the people who find out about it once you come out, they are just finding out about that information, uh, you know, and they've got no time to deal with that. So it's a very tough thing for them, and it, it takes a lot of understanding uh, to give people the time to be able to work through that. Right, um, right, right. And if it's family members, there's a whole plethora of things that they have to go through. Uh, they they have to they get angry because they're upset and they don't understand. Uh, they go through a mourning process, like for example, my parents, they feel like they lost a son. Right. Uh, you know, and then you have the entire situation of, uh, you know, then trying to work with that and that whole process of rebuilding that and getting to know this person that maybe this, you know, because you're not 100% honest with who you are with people. Exactly. You have to then clue them in on all that. It's, it's, it's a big process. Yeah. Even just respecting the decision. I mean, right. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that everybody should understand what I'm doing and necessarily have to accept what I'm doing, but for the most part, I would expect them to respect the fact that I made a decision and this is who I am, you know, and, and to just respect that, that, that decision. And that's, if we could get that and if we could get, you know, people to just respect who we are, that would be enough, you know. Um, you know, and then as far as, you know, rights and whatnot, I mean, you know, that's that's a whole other issue, political side of it. The, uh, you know, right now I have a family, and I don't know whether I have any rights to my kids if my partner dies or vice versa. I don't know whether she can even collect all the stuff that, you know, like life insurance and stuff, or if my parents could put up a challenge. Um, you know, so there's a lot of unsettled issues there. Um, just getting married, because my birth certificate says female, and uh, now I have no way of Marrying legally, uh, technically, I mean, unless they were to go back and go back and actually recognize my original birth right, right. Um, sex. So you know, there's a whole plethora of issues. I have no idea if it's going to be a court case or not. Uh -huh. um, so there's a number of things you got to think about when you're doing this. Excellent.